Hey guys, I have uh, my sequencer and drum pads application which I am now calling the SD Visualizer. S for sequencer, D for drum pads and visualizer because it has a has a visualizer um, application which I showed last week or last last time I presented a video which may have been earlier this week actually. In any case, um, you can uh, zoom this thing it registered a key event and move it um, so you can you know play your play your sounds and nothing's going to get registered in the array. I, I should have used this pen to show you. Now, as usual, there's the letters over here on the side. Um, and I think I may have deleted the code that registers the the sound with that so um, I have to put that back in with the letters uh, it still is it still exists in drum pad kit too so that's something that I just have to add uh, but in any case what I was focusing on was more of the recording portion um, and when you record the the bottom to a record and this is play and stop play record and stop record so um, and the bottom the very bottom button is clear so you can record and you can play that back You can clear the stage. You can record a new sequence. And you can clear that. And you can continue to record new sequences and clear them. Um, because what I'm doing is in the array, um, I I'm calling an event which asks to listen for each object that is on the stage um, using a for each loop so for each display object or movie clip that's on the stage um, uh, take that object reference its parent and have the parent reference the remove child um, method and remove the child um, that is that the that is referencing the parent so if I'm the child of parent uh, Drew, then and my name is Renee as usual. Um, so Renee dot Drew dot remove child parentheses Renee. Um, it's kind of like a loopy type of um, referencing the way the way that it works. But in any case, uh, it does it does do the job and. Um, you have up here you have uh, the metronome which blinks right here that speed is referenced by this number 500 and that's the same speed as a playback as you can see it's moving every time it ticks that's the same speed as the recording I'm sorry um, the playback is referenced by this uh, set of numbers on the bottom uh, row and um, you can increase that to make it faster or decrease it to make it slower but you don't want to make it too slow because it, it won't play back at a good uh, speed to make a comprehensive sound um, in any case uh, with the sequencer 
I don't think I did anything new. Um, I think I showed you everything as far as the sequencer is concerned, but let me zoom back out of that. Um, so, if you, uh, I think now I have a sequence that's twice as twice as fast, uh, meaning that it there are fewer cells that you can use for data, uh, but nevertheless, it still works um, to make a sound. So. If you play that, kind of a strange sounding rhythm, but uh. You can pause that, and then when you press play again from this point, you can't really do it. So you have to push keep, and then hit this button right here, right above the pause. And that will make it loop again. Um, I think there was something I had to do in my code to make an adjustment. And uh, that's what I did. So, um, yeah, that's what I had to do to get it to work kind of a wonky piece of code but in any case um, thanks for watching and I have more in store for um oh wait I wanted to show you guys the drop shadow all right all right um, the drop shadow is pretty cool because you can um, you know choose to have a an object that you draw I'm drawing with my left hand but as you can see there's a drop shadow being drawn there if you do a no fill and make the thickness of the stroke a little bit larger you can see that drop shadow happening through the line so um yeah, uh, that's the filter part of the assignment that we had to make make to, uh, for this week. We had to create a filter, and I used the drop shadow filter. I could have is just as easily used a blur filter, um, or uh, you know, a blur filter on the actual brush to make it look like spray paint or airbrush, um, and. I could use any number of other filters. There are a bunch of uh, different filters, like nine or ten different filters that you can use in Action Script. So um, I may incorporate some of those and let you see that later. But for right now, I have other things that I want to do with this application. So um, yeah, so that's that's that part. Um, I also have something um, when you click this button it asks you if you want to go to gallery or PS touch PS touch comes with this tablet so you can go to the gallery um, and I'll do that real quick off screen So there you have it. I, I've loaded um, an image from the gallery. That's this image that I drew. And um, yeah, uh, you can draw on top of it if you want to, you know, uh, choosing a green with no fill. You know, um, I totally vandalized my own artwork there. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, um, and by the way, vandalism is not the point of graffiti art, uh, or aerosol art, 
um, however you want to call it, um, there is vandalism in graffiti, but that's not the point. The, the point is more of the artwork that you do with a with an aerosol or a spray can, um, and this application is aimed to target those people who wish to create art using aerosol um, methods. But first, um, getting practice, you know, drawing on a surface, um, you know, drawing a continuous line or a continuous curve on a surface. Um, continuous fill those types of things just to get an idea of what it's like um, when they take it to a larger scale it's just a sketch pad application but it's geared towards um, the hip-hop um, type of person um, somebody who likes hip-hop somebody who likes uh, graffiti art and stuff like that so I'm trying to intertwine um, music and visuals together to create a uh, something dynamic and you can um, you can play this and the picture moves with 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 what you've drawn uh, that's the picture from the gallery and then you can save that out as a, a file onto your storage space using this button right here um, and that's been there for a couple of weeks now but I just never demonstrated it I won't show it to you now because this video is running long but if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask thank you for watching